Well, technology now allows us to speak and even see people who are far away from us, but soon you might actually be able to reach out and touch them remotely through a technology called Smart Skin. Joining us this morning is John Rogers, who led the team that designed it. Good morning to you. Yeah, hi, good morning. This new technology, formerly known as Epidermal VR System, how does it work? Well, it's a, a flexible piece of electronics that can gently laminate onto the surface of the skin to pr produce a programmable artificial sensation of, of touch. And it can wirelessly interface with a computer system or smartphone to provide an enhanced uh, virtual or augmented reality experience. Can you describe for us what it feels like, uh, you know, when, when you get the sensation and also what it can and can't do? Yeah, so it feels like a kind of a gentle sensation of touch. It's not sort of a forceful poking, uh, but it's produced by an array of um, kind of force actuators that induce kind of a vibratory sensation at different locations across the skin. And it's all controlled in a way that um, allows for real-time sort of spatio-temporal uh, control over, over that interface to the skin. So gentle stroking and touching uh, would be a good way to describe it. Can it convey hot or cold? Well, that's kind of an uh, additional modality that we're adding into the platform now, so we can do that. We haven't uh, published on those results, but in addition to kind of this um, surface um, you know, force on, onto the skin, you, you can heat and you can cool. You can also um, generate uh, sort of a twisting sensation on the skin, so there are ways to sort of uh, add to the experience, and that's one thing that we're looking at as uh, part of our ongoing research. Some of the images we're sharing with our viewers now show like families communicating. Uh, you know, we saw people that were gaming, but this actually the idea for this came about for medical uses. So, what kinds of applications does this have? Well, I think that there's some powerful opportunities in uh, rehabilitation as, as a specific example. So, we work with a large rehabilitation clinic here in Chicago, uh, working with stroke survivors uh, specifically. And in many cases, if you survive a stroke, you have to relearn sort of basic body functions such as speech and swallowing. And we have devices that can monitor speech, it can monitor swallowing event, and then events and then provide kind of a, a tactile um, you know, input through the skin to help uh, these patients understand how, how to speak more normally and how to swallow at the appropriate point in the respiratory cycle. John, you were part of the team that developed this technology. What excites you most about it? Well, I think it's those medical uh, opportunities. I think gaming, entertainment, uh, sort of social interactions, those are kind of no-brainer you know, uh, opportunities as well. But I think the idea of using these kinds of concepts to per, uh, improve uh, hum human health is something that's, that's really motivating us to develop the technology. John Rogers, I want to thank you for joining us, telling us about this amazing new technology. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.